Cheers, guys. Let's have some BFA 306 port open and closing study. It looks like that. Fast track. So, where shall we start? We could start at the top dead center. That's the highest position the piston comes. And it goes down again. And what we do say here is main exhaust port is opening. The side exhaust ports are opening. It goes down and down, it gets bigger and bigger. Transfer ports open. And this between this edge and opening transfer ports, this is called the blowdown. So transfer ports are opening now. Goes down the transfer ports fully open you see no edges the piston stays below all the port edges and then it comes back up top that center bottom that center and this kind of in up to 12,000 revs Jeez, guys, see ya. We're gonna need a digital tool or a degree disc or just this sliding color bro. So, it still is 4.1. Let's measure the hand, what's it gonna be? 2.3, use a gouge, put it in here and when the piston blocks, Then how much the piston stands below the top edge. The Conrad is, I just looked it up, it's 135 millimeter. It's 64 millimeter. Let's put it in in the 10 inch D dog. Calculator 64 
aussi mouvant. Not really twisted. <laughs> no, it is super tight, and this is how it should be. Better be on the safe side. BFA Motori Blueprint A video out of the series, not really needed for the world, isn't it? <laughs> but it's fun. Why not? And we got it. Position for zoom again. There we go. Slow motion. <laughs> Hey mate, how are you? <laughs> Here we are in uh, Orshova, in uh, on the Serbian border on the Danube River, and we just made it here uh, on a pair of cylinders that uh, that uh, you were involved in and in, uh, and did a lot of modifying to, and we're here with the report of uh, of how that went. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, it was a pretty good day. It's great. It's got more power than I need. Mm. Uh, it frightens me. Um, and I'm pretty pleased, but uh, the more interesting thing is what's going on uh, with Brett's bike, Brett and Margo's bike, which is also pretty damn good. And I had a, I had the chance to ride it a little bit today, and it is the touring bike I wish I had 10 years ago when I did my big trip. So, I don't know, I'm very, very impressed with the work. It feels like it's got, I don't know, 15, 15 horsepower, maybe uh, I 16. Reckon, yeah, I think it'd be around there, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Whereas the, the O-Tune motor is... is is not sort of throbbing and, and, and sort of wanting to rev up more. It just sits there like lazy, like the original engine. But then it's just much smoother than the original engine. But the Molossi is is chomping at the bit to to sort yeah. of get moving. It's yeah. like a, you know, it's not like it's a screamer. It's not, it's just really talky in that, yep. in, in that rev range. And, and it, 
it's it's not such a lazy motor touring motor it's lost that yeah that that puddle on laziness yeah um that i think the original motor has i think the o-tune motor just makes the original motor better and i had the original the o-tune cylinder on before this one the the version one that that fmp built and it was it did forty thousand k's and then this one's better again this one has more yeah. top end and I think different view. your bike your your yeah. o-tune motor was the smoothest i've ever ridden <laughs> A <laughs> beast! Sorry, yeah. Bist du denn, was ist das ein Beast jetzt? <laughs>